Hi, I'm Jeff Hirsch. I'm here at the Money Show in Orlando with Dr. Alan Elman, the uh, options covered call writing guru, big covered call writer, and you have a way uh, for people to pick the right strikes to make their money. How do you pick the right strike for an option for a covered call? Okay, when, when you s write a covered call, before you even think about which stock and which option you're going to select, you have to determine what your goal is. Now, I prefer monthly options for mm -hmm. various reasons. The weeklies don't do anything for you. Weeklies are good. They have some disadvantages. But uh, the monthlies, you, you have an opportunity for position management, which you don't have with weeklies. Mm -hmm. Normally, you have better liquidity with monthly options. And so, less opportunities, uh, less requirements for rolling the option. Uh, so, I prefer, and of course, uh, weeklies have four or five times the commissions that monthlies have. But I prefer monthlies. You can certainly make money with weeklies as well. So uh, when we sell a monthly option, you can select an out of the money strike higher than current market value mm -hmm. or an in the money strike lower than current market value. Now an option premium has two components to this, as you know. It has intrinsic value if there's an in the money strike and time value uh, for the at the money and out of the money strike. Right. So in the money strikes have both intrinsic and time value, the others have only time value. So if we were to sell an out of the money strike, we have an opportunity for two income streams in the same month with the same cash. Mm -hmm. One from the option premium and one from share appreciation from current market value up to that strike price. Right. So in normal and bull market environments and specifically also when chart technicals are bullish and confirming, I prefer to go out of the money and give myself that opportunity for two income streams. However, in a bear market environment or with certain things coming up like perhaps a Fed announcement or pre-Brexit or pre-election or things of that nature or just mm -hmm. generally a bearish and volatile market, I prefer in the money strikes because you have that additional intrinsic value component which lowers your cost basis more than an at the money or an out of the money strike. So it depends upon whether you're in a bull, bull, bull or bear market, excuse me, or a confirming uptrend or a confirming downtrend, if you're going to go in the money or out of the money. Absolutely. Uh, you want to take advantage of what is existing at the time. And remember, we're only taking one month or weekly obligations. So what's happening right now? If it's a bull market environment, why not take the opportunity to have cash and share appreciation in addition to premium? Collect your why premium not do that? and get your upside when the stock goes up and, the, and it gets called away from Get you. the best of both worlds. Excellent. However, in a, in a bear market, why not get that additional downside protection? Fantastic. Thank you very much. Pleasure. Thank you for joining us. All right, well, Claire, stay where you're at. I want to record the intro since we kind of, I had to hit the camera. So let's just record the intro. If you can, can edit it in later. Sure. All right, so just stand by. We'll just do the intro up to the first question. Three, two, one.